Shalom brothers and sisters. Um, it is imperative that I come on here and um, the credit first goes to Steve Ram. Um, he is on Twitter X and he is also on um, YouTube. I subscribe to his channel. He's an excellent watcher. And um, yeah, uh, I initially got the um, notification from Steve Ram uh, YouTube channel. And um, so I went on Twitter X um, based on his last video, and I'm going to leave a link to his video um, in the description box and in the pinned comment. Thank you, Steve, uh, for updating us on uh, the possible death of Yaya Sinwar. I went on Twitter X. I took your advice. I went on Twitter X, and I looked up um, Yaya Sinwar assassinated, um, and yeah, the pictures are all over Twitter X. I will leave all the links that I retweeted um, in the description box and in the pinned comment, uh, they're all public. And so, yeah, um, I looked at all the pictures of Yaya Sinwar, of what appears to look like Yaya Sinwar, um, and it does. The pictures are not photoshopped. I'm a photographer. I know what a photoshopped picture looks like. I, I know even what a slightly photoshopped picture looks like. Uh, yeah, no, these are not photoshopped in any way, shape, or form, not even slightly. And so, yeah, um, I'm going to leave many different links um, that will go straight to um, public postings on Twitter X. It does look like, um, you are absolutely correct, Brother Steve, um, yes, Yaya Sinwar, he looks like he's been eliminated, uh, the Masterminds of October 7, 2023 massacres. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read the Jerusalem Post article parts of it um, to update everybody. Bear with me one second. Yeah, Jonathan Hessen with TV7 Israel News, he tweeted on his official Twitter account, Twitter X account, um, a dramatic joint IDF and ISA announcement, initial report, during IDF operations in the Gaza Strip, three terrorists were eliminated. The IDF and ISA are checking the possibility that one of the terrorists was Yahya Sinwar. At this stage, the identity of the terrorists cannot be confirmed. Um, in the building where the terrorists were eliminated, there were no signs of the presence of hostages in the area. The forces that are operating in the area are continuing to operate with the required caution. Um, and let me pull up the um, actual Jerusalem Post article. Okay, and so Jerusalem Post, exactly one minute ago, um, two minutes ago, uh, 10 minutes after 11 Eastern time zone, they posted on their official verified Twitter X account, um, IDF very likely kills Gaza, Bin Laden, Hamas leader, Yaya Sinwar. Um, okay. IDF checking possibility that Hamas leader Yaya Sinwar killed in Gaza strike. At this stage, the identity of the terrorists cannot be uh, confirmed, the IDF said. But really, uh, looking at the actual photos on Twitter X, uh, it looks like him. <laughs> I can't say definitely for sure, but it looks identical to him, really. Hamas leader Yaya Sinwar may have been killed in a strike in Gaza, the IDF announced on Thursday. Initial report, during IDF operations in the Gaza Strip, three terrorists were eliminated. The IDF and ISA are checking the possibility that one of the terrorists was Yaya Sinwar. At this stage, the identity of the terrorists cannot be confirmed. The IDF said in the building where the terrorists were eliminated, there were no signs of the presence of hostages in the area. The forces that are operating in the area are continuing to operate with the required caution. Um, and so I'm going to leave a link to that Jerusalem Post article. Um, Sheen Bet, Director Ronan Barr, and IDF Chief of Staff Herzi Halevi seen during security consultations shortly following reports of Hamas leader Yaya Sinwar's death in Gaza. Um, and I'm going to leave a link to that, um, that posting on Twitter X from Jerusalem Post. And then let me read um, the Times of Israel article on this one. Okay, Times of Israel, exactly 11 minutes ago, posted on their official verified Twitter X account, 
um, Yahya Sinwar, radical Islamist, um, utterly committed to Israel's destruction, an early member of Hamas. Um, he was initially known for his brutal treatment of suspected collaborators and rose in the ranks to lead the group and the October 7 massacres. Israeli officials expressed growing certainty Thursday afternoon that a terror operative killed in exchanges of fire with Israeli forces in Gaza in the past day was Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar on the run since the devastating October 7, 2023 attacks on Israel. Sinwar, the mastermind be behind October 7 massacres, had been in hiding in Gaza for the past year, defying Israeli attempts to kill him since the start of the war. He was seen as Israel's top target since the murderous attack that constituted the deadliest day in Israel's history. Sinwar was announced as the new leader of Hamas in early August following the assassination of former leader Ishmael Haniyeh in Tehran, which was ascribed to Israel. Um, Sinwar, who spent half his adult life in Israeli prisons, was the most powerful Hamas leader left alive following the assassination of Haniyeh. Sinwar was born in 1962 in a refugee camp in the Gaza town of Khan Yunis. He was an early member of Hamas, which was formed in 1987, um, adopting the group's radical Islamist ideology, which seeks to eliminate Israel and establishing and establish an Islamic state in its place. He eventually led the group's security arm, which worked to purge it of spies for Israel. Israel arrested him in the late 1980s, and he admitted to killing 12 suspected collaborators, a role that earned him the nickname the Butcher of Khan Yunis. He was sentenced to four life terms for offenses that included the killing of two Israeli soldiers. Sinwar organized strikes in prison to improve working conditions. He also studied Hebrew and Israeli society and was seen as having a deep understanding of it. He survived brain cancer in 2008 after being treated by Israeli doctors. Sinwar was released from prison in 2011 by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu along with some 1,000 other prisoners as part of an exchange for Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit who was captured by Hamas in a 2006 cross-border raid. Sinwar was unrepentant about the October 7 attacks after a year of war. People in contact with him said despite unleashing an Israeli invasion in Gaza and a war that killed tens of thousands of Palestinians, laid waste to his Gaza homeland, and rained destruction on ally Hezbollah. For Sinwar, armed struggle remained the only way to force the creation of a Palestinian nation for Palestinian officials and two sources from governments in the Middle East. Um, Sinwar's grip on Hamas remained unwavering after a year of war despite some signs of dissent among Gazans. Um, dubbed the face of evil by Israel, Sinwar operated in secrecy, moving constantly and using trusted messengers for non-digital communication, according to three Hamas officials and one regional official. Um, over months of failed ceasefire talks led by Qatar and Egypt that focused on swapping prisoners for hostages, Sinwar was the sole decision maker three Hamas sources said. Negotiators would wait for days for responses filtered through a secretive chain of messengers. Hamas's ideology views Israel not only as a political rival, but as an occupying force on Muslim land. Okay, um, seen in this light, hardships and suffering were often interpreted by Sinwar and his followers as part of a larger Islamic belief of sacrifice, experts on Islamic movement say. 
um, before the war, Sinwar would sometimes tell of his early life in Gaza during decades of Israeli control of the Strip, once saying his mother made clothes from empty UN food aid sacks, according to Gaza resident Wissam Ibrahim, who has met him in a semi- autobiographical novel written in prison, Sinwar described scenes of troops bulldozing Palestinian houses like a monster crushing its prey's bones. His understanding of the everyday hardships in Gaza was well received by Gazans and made people feel at ease. Four journalists and three Hamas officials said despite his fearsome reputation and explosive anger. Sinwar was regarded by Arab and Palestinian officials as the architect of Hamas's strategy and military capabilities, bolstered through his strong ties with Iran, which he visited in 2012. Nabi Awada, a former Lebanese communist militant who was imprisoned with Sinwar in Ashkelon between 1991 and 1995, said the Hamas leader viewed the 1993 Oslo peace accords between Israel and the Palestinian Authority as disastrous and a ruse by Israel, which he said would only relinquish Palestinian land by force, not by negotiations. Calling him willful and dogmatic, Awada said Sinwar would light up with joy whenever he heard of attacks against Israelis by Hamas or Lebanon's Hezbollah group. For him, military confrontation was the only path to liberating Palestine from Israeli occupation. Awada said Sinwar was influential was an influential model to all prisoners, even those who were not Islamist or religious. Um, Israel withdrew from Gaza in 2005, which was a terrible mistake. Uh, but under Sinwar, Hamas focused immense manpower on Hamas focused immense manpower and monetary efforts on turning the Strip into a base for operations from which to work to destroy the Jewish state. Um, building a massive network of underground tunnels, weapons, caches, and rockets from which to wage war. Before orchestrating the October 7 raids, Sinwar made no secret of his desire to strike his enemy hard. In a speech the year before, he vowed to send a flood of fighters and rockets to Israel, hinting at a war that would either unite the world to establish a Palestinian state on land Israel captures in 1967 or leave the Jewish nation isolated on the global stage. Um, okay, and by the time of the speech, Sinwar and Hamas military chief Muhammad Daif, who was eliminated by Israel in July of 2024, had already hatched secret plans for the assault. They were even running training drills in public that simulated such an attack. His goals have not been fulfilled. Um, while the issue is once again at the top of the global agenda, the prospect of a Palestinian nation is as distant as ever. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has categorically rejected a post-war plan for Gaza that would include a firm timeline for the establishment of a Palestinian state, saying any such talk now would be a reward for terror. Michael Kalbi, a former official with Israel's Sheen Bet security agency who interrogated Sinwar for 180 hours in prison, said Sinwar clearly stood out for his ability to intimidate and command. Kalbi once asked the terrorist, then aged 28 or 29, why he was not already married. He told me, Hamas is my wife, Hamas is my child. Hamas, for me, is everything. Sinwar married after his release from prison in 2011 and had three children. Whoa. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and I will leave the Jerusalem Post article and um, this Times of Israel article in the description box. And I'm going to leave um, several links that go directly to tweets. Um, I would 
show the pictures, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. Um, it does look like Yayasin War. It really does um, in the photos, and they are not photoshopped. Um, and so, yeah, um, thank you, Steve Ram, for reporting on this. Um, you get the, the credit first. And so, yeah, um, I will leave uh, your video link in the description box as well. Um, and so, yeah, I believe this is a major sign that we are getting ready to see our blessed hope of Titus 2.13. I pray that people come to a knowledge of the truth and be set free indeed regarding the great deception. Um, you know, yes, everybody knows that... Um, uh, I believe that the bride and the five wise virgins of Matthew 25, 1 through 13, original Aramaic version, they are the ecclesia of Philadelphia. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which will come upon the world. Um, you know, to plant a seed, you know, really the ecclesia is extremely small because of the great deception. Okay. And because the ecclesia of Philadelphia, the called out ones, the bride and the five wise virgins of the original parable of the ten virgins um because this great deception has spiraled completely out of control and people are not rightly rightly dividing the word of truth um i just pray that more and more people come to a knowledge of the truth and be set free indeed um you know i believe that the ecclesia of philadelphia um we're getting ready to fly we're, we're getting ready to leave the planet um destruction is coming and um you know ever since september i think it was the 18th of september of 2024 the un um they passed a resolution um giving israel uh 12 months to get out of palestinian territory lands and i will leave a link to that um I will leave a link to that um, article in the description box and in the pinned comment as well. Um, I, I've been looking into Luke 2120, um, and yeah, uh, when we see Jerusalem compassed with armies, know that the desolation thereof is nigh. And so we know that the rapture, the first watch translation of the bride and the five wise, and the rapture has to occur before the hour of temptation, Revelation 3.10, because the ecclesia of Philadelphia, we are not subject to wrath. That's proven in 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, and 10. And so, yeah, uh, the original parable of the ten virgins, if you're watching this, um, yeah, in 70 AD, uh, the Greek translator was used by the enemy to replace the groom and the bride with the confusing term bridegroom. Okay, it has created mountains of confusion. And so um, he's putting on my heart right now. Now to read Matthew 9 15, Mark 2 19, Luke 5 34 35, and John 3 29, and the original parable of the ten virgins um, in Matthew 25 1, and then Psalm 45. Uh, the corresponding scriptures. Um, the original parable of the ten virgins pretty much speaks of the same people, the same event outlined in Psalm 45, and it does prove that the bride is one woman. Bear with me one second. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and read Matthew 9, 15, Matthew 25, 1, Mark 2, 19 through 20, Luke 5, 34, 35, and John 3, 29, knowing that the righteous will be scarcely saved. Um, many people will wail. Uh, when the Spirit and the Bride say come at the end of the age of grace, many people will fulfill uh, Revelation 1, 7. Matthew 9, 15, Aramaic Bible in plain English, and Yeshua said to them, how can the children of the bridal chamber fast as long as the groom is with them? But the days are coming when the groom will be taken from them and then they will fast. Matthew 25, 1, Aramaic Bible in plain English, then the kingdom of heaven will be compared to 10 virgins. The same took their lamps and went to meet the groom and the bride, one woman. Mark 2, 19 through 20, Aramaic Bible in plain English, Yeshua said to them, Are the children of the bridal chamber able to fast as long as the groom is with them? No, but the days will come when the groom will be taken from them, then they will fast in those days. Luke 5, 34, 35, Aramaic Bible in plain English, but he said to them, you cannot make the children of the bridal chamber fast as long as the groom is with them. But the days come when the groom will be taken from them, and then they will fast in those days. John 3, 29, Aramaic Bible in plain English. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and listens for him rejoices with great joy because of the voice of the bridegroom. Therefore, this my joy, behold, it is full. And so we know that, bear with me one second. We know that the bride in Matthew 25, 1 is the same bride 
um, mentioned in Revelation 18, 23, um, his wife who hath made herself ready in Revelation 19, 7 and 8, um, her light will always shine in the holy city, the new Jerusalem during the millennial reign. Um, and the Bible does prove that um, the bride and her companions, they do go up in the first watch of the night. When Yeshua HaMashiach cries out to his dove, rise up my love, my fair one, and come away. That occurs in the first watch of the night, okay, at the very end of the age of grace. And um, the bride, the one woman bride, she does see her blessed hope in the first watch translation, okay, when Revelation 18, 23 comes to pass. And the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And so, um, yeah, uh, once the bride is removed off the planet, um, yeah, it's only a matter of minutes because when she sees her blessed hope, she is a hidden bride. When she sees her blessed hope, um, yeah, it, it's only a matter of minutes after he, after Yeshua HaMashiach proposes to her in the night sky. And then after she accepts his proposal in the night sky, they will kiss in the night sky. There's been many visions and dreams about this in full agreement with Acts chapter 2. And then after that occurs, um, the spirit and the bride will say, come to the five wise virgins of today's society. Everyone who hears this should also say, come. All who are thirsty may come. They can have the water of life as a free gift if they want it. And so many people, the wise will understand according to Daniel 12, but the wicked who do wickedly and none of the wicked that will understand, um, they, they have hearts of stone. And so, yeah, they will fall in the Revelation 1-7 category. They will wail. And so we know that from um, Revelation, yeah, from, from, um, from Matthew 25-1, talking about uh, the five wise virgins that do go out to meet the groom and the bride all the way to Revelation 22, 17. It is 7,089 inclusive verses, okay? And 7089, according to Strong's Hebrew Concordance, means to be in anguish and in despair, okay? How many people will get left behind when the spirit and the bride say, come, 686, the 686th chapter of the KJV Bible would be Isaiah 7. Briars and thorns will be rejected. Um, you could read about this further in Hebrews 6, 8. Um, during the millennial reign, briars and thorns will be rejected. Um, and so, yeah. And we know that knowing that we serve an Elohim of order, um, as proven in 1 Corinthians 14, 40, um, we know that the bride, one woman, according to Matthew's original Aramaic scriptures, um, yeah, when her blessed hope comes to pass, um, she will hear Yeshua HaMashiach cry out to her, My beloved spake and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Um, 686, okay? And when you calculate the exact wording of Song of Solomon 2.10, um, it is 686, okay? Obviously, the bride and her companions are not briars and thorns, okay? They rightly divide the word of truth, okay? And then, um, yeah, you know, it's only a matter of time before the bride is removed off the planet when she sees her blessed hope come to pass. How many people will get left behind when the spirit and the bride say come? 686. And so, yeah, um, then the spirit and the bride will say come after she accepts his proposal, uh, to the five wise virgins of today's society, those who are not aware of the great deception, they will wail, as proven in Revelation 1 7. And then after um, the bride and her companions are removed off the planet, the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony will occur in the first watch of the night. Yeshua HaMashiach will be crowned king, and his wife who hath made herself ready, she will be crowned queen. We know that Esther 2.17 points to Psalm 45.9. Um, her wedding dress will be woven with the gold of Ophir, as proven in Psalm 45.13, and she will wear her Song of Solomon chapter 7 verse 1 wedding shoes. Um, Revelation 19 16, and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Psalm 45, verse 9 through 14, KJV. King's daughters are among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen and gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there at the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. 
and she will wear her wedding shoes um, mentioned in Song of Solomon 7.1. How beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter. The joints of thy thighs are like jewels, the work of the hands of a cunning workman. And so when the wedding ceremony is finished, he will return from the wedding in the second or third watch, and then the rapture will occur. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and ye yourselves likened to men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony, that when he comes and knock it, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good men of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not suffered his house to be broken through. And so after that, um, after the rapture, when he returns from the Psalm 45 wedding ceremony, the, rap the rapture will occur, 1 Thessalonians 4, um, 15 through 18, the resurrection of Matthew 22, 30, and then the marriage supper of the Lamb celebration will take place after that. Revelation 19, 7 through 9, KJV. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. It does not say themselves. And to her, not them, was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Right blessed are they, more than one person, which are called or invited unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And so, yeah, it's only a matter of time. Uh, before destruction comes, you know, it, it we're, we're running out of serious time, brothers and sisters. Um, I will leave all these links in the description box. Um, please um, come to a knowledge of the truth and be set free indeed um, regarding the great deception. Uh, yes, the Greek translator was used in the year 70 AD to replace the groom and the bride with a confusing term bridegroom. The translation has been lost for uh, 1953 whopping depressing years and it's created a lot of confusion. And so, yeah, you know, if you're going by KJV, it's not incorrect. The bridegroom of Matthew 25, 1 is the same bridegroom of John 3, 29. John is not uh, the bride because that would be polygamy. Um, that would be wickedness. Um, you know, biblical marriage is between one man and one woman. Yeshua HaMashiach, he will fulfill biblical marriage to one Proverbs 31 woman. And so, so, yeah, you know, because of John 3.16 pointing to John 1.14 and John 1.14 pointing to Luke 24.44-45, we know that what Isaiah the prophet wrote in Isaiah 55.11, um, it fully correlates and agrees with what Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2.9. The word of Elohim really is not bound. You know, Isaiah the prophet wrote in Isaiah 55.11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. You know, we know that um, Yeshua HaMashiach is the word made flesh, okay, according to John 1 14. What does it mean to believe in the only begotten Son of Father Yahweh? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We have to believe that because he is the word made flesh, he will fulfill all scripture written about him. Luke 24, 44 through 45 KJV. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Okay, because these scriptures point um, to Yeshua HaMashiach being allowed to fulfill biblical marriage to one Proverbs 31 woman, we have to understand that, um, yeah, the bridegroom of Matthew 25, 1 KJV is the same bridegroom of, of John 3, 29, okay? We have to understand that at the end of the age of grace, when Yeshua comes back quickly, um, it says clearly in Revelation 22, verse 7, verse 12, and verse 20, that he will come back quickly. The spirit and the bride will say come at the end of the age of grace, okay? And so, yeah, the, the righteous will be scarcely saved. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to um, post this now um, and pray for the lost concerning this great deception. And I hope and pray we see our blessed hope of Titus 2.13 very, very soon when the spirit and the bride say come. Shalom with abundant blessings, brothers and sisters.